Hi colleagues, thank you for watching this video. The purpose of these videos is to thank you and to update you on all that's happening with your education and training. But firstly, I'd like to start with acknowledging that HEE is a multi-professional organisation and the response to COVID across health and social care has been truly multi-professional. And I wanted to say thank you to all of our colleagues and to acknowledge that all our students, all our learners, and all staff across the NHS are impacted and all are stepping up, so thank you to all of them. But specifically to you as our medical and dental colleagues, as our trainees, thank you for all that you are doing. I know that these are hard, challenging times. I recognise the prolonged and relentless impact on service, on you personally, on your family and friends, and on your education and training. The purpose of these videos is to update you on uh, matters and how we're handling them and to open up communication channels directly to you. I recognise that different specialties, different stages of careers and in different parts of the country are all affected differently. I want to acknowledge the foundation doctors who've pretty much all been redeployed and may well be far outside your comfort zone, but I'm hearing incredible reports of how you're all stepping up and thank you so much to you. Uh, also to acknowledge that some specialties are particularly adversely affected, such as ICM, anaesthetics or respiratory, but actually everybody is. Whether it's from being redeployed, whether it's from your wards or departments being repurposed, or just the relentless impact uh, on busy general practice, on busy hospital services. Thank you for everything you're doing, but we do recognise the impact that this is having on you and your training and we will work with you to try and address this. Do please make sure you make use of the wellbeing resources that are provided by us and by uh, colleagues across the NHS. Do also remember to use your supervisors, your training program directors and the Freedom to Speak Up guardians in, in your uh, employer. I, I do note the impact on recruitment. We are doing our best to adapt recruitment to keep you safe, to ensure it's fair and to ensure that uh, all that can get into the next stage of their training can do so. All that we've put in place has been equality impact assessed and we're working with colleges and their recruitment teams and with your trainee representatives. Uh, there will be a forthcoming uh, webinar on ARCPs and a specific one on dental ARCPs. I think it's really important that these are used as uh, supportive reviews, not another hurdle. And we want to work with you on how we address your training plan for the future. And finally, a, a brief mention about uh, rotations. I know that some of these have been paused. Sometimes that's at an area basis and sometimes it's by specialty. The postgraduate deans are trying very hard not unless it's really necessary for patient care and in which case to tr communicate as soon as they know that. But often these decisions have been made quite late. Just as with redeployment and with the impact on your training experiences, we will take all of this into account and work with you on training recovery. Can I end by saying thank you again for all that you were doing for the public, for each other, for the NHS, and thank you for being our trainees.